Good. <laughs> Take care, dragon. What in the world happened? Weird. So I had no drop frames. I didn't have. It's just for whatever reason. Decided it didn't want to work anymore. All right, cool. We're back. Weird. Yeah. Train, 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 train. Take care, dragon. <laughs> Good to see you. Yeah, that was weird. Weird. I didn't have any drop frames, no errors, or nothing. It just, and I, I was still streaming. OBS was still open. It just decided to disappear. Kind of strange. And I think we'll do like a little hand cannon on this side. I have PTSD. It's not good. Ah, uh, well, you know, that's the thing, though. Like, we all have something, you know? I mean, we really do. We, that's just being human. Let me know if it goes again, guys, because that was really strange. Like, I don't understand why it did that. Okay, let's go like this. I know we're supposed to get some bad storms tonight, so I don't know if that's going to mess with the internet at all. Possible? We got some bad thunderstorms setting up. It didn't say disconnected. It still said I was streaming, oddly enough. Which was really weird. Like, everything still said I was live. OBS was open? I had to hit stop streaming to hit start streaming again. That was really weird. Could have been. Could have been. Could have been. Aladdin plays. Mm, do I know you? I don't know if I know you or not. Should I? Have you been in here before? Oh yeah, there's a lot of strats on their servers lately. Uh, it's been, it's been, it's been, it's been interesting. A lot of new people. I've been meeting a lot of new people, but it's great. I like meeting new people. So, from D Live, and that may be why I don't recognize you because I don't, um, um. Probably used to seeing you over there. The name rings a bell. Well, it's good to see you. You just checking out Mixer, or are you have you used Mixer before, or? Seems like there's a lot. I mean, obviously there's a lot of new people checking out Mixer. I mean, that kind of goes without saying, right? I mean, there's been a lot of there's been a lot of interest in Mixer lately, of course. Checking it out. Right on. Right on. Well, look, if you have any questions for me, uh, feel free to ask. My first day. Okay. All right. Well, welcome. Yeah, I'm restreaming right now, Aladdin. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Hello, water bottle. How are you? Right, exactly, Bo. It didn't... What? That's gonna make me mad, water bottle. Hold on. Oh, I got you. Well, yeah, welcome over. Yeah. If I can answer any questions on Mixer, let me know. Um, try... 
Why is that not working? That is really weird. Because it... Correct me if I'm wrong, Water Bottle. It worked the first day you were in here, right? Like, we had it working. I know we did. So, you know what broke it? You know what broke it, right? Is when I switched to OBS from Streamlabs. That's when it stopped working. So, I don't know what is going on with Mix It Up. All right, hold on. Let me let me try something. Yeah, I know. Try your command real quick. That is frustrating. Super frustrating. Give me a second, folks. We're going to we're going to sort of see if we can fix this because it's one of those things like I can't I can't really work on it without having her here because it's her command. So give me a minute, we're gonna play with it. Absolutely, Aladdin. I thought about stopping here because I know sometimes you were talking to Mixer. Yeah, um, so Aladdin, we're restreaming right now between DLive and Mixer and YouTube as well. I'm restreaming to three different platforms right now. So um, yeah, you can certainly restream. So yeah, absolutely, good to see you. Let's go to users. Let's look up the water bottle. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to delete your command altogether. I'm just going to delete it. Water bottle. We're going to delete it and rebuild it real quick. And we're going to see what the heck happens here. So let's go. Let's delete it. We're going to do a little bit of a, uh, an, a stream here real quick. So we're going to name it water bottle. Because I worked too daggone hard on that command for it not to work. I'm going to tell you that right now. Um... Streaming software, add it. We're gonna go default setting because my default setting is set to OBS Studio. Yeah, because I can trigger it right here, Dragon. Hi, water bottle. Visible. Okay. We got a new follower. Aladdin Play, thank you for the follow. Thank you so much. Yeah, and welcome over. Um. Again, if, if, if anyone in here can help answer any questions for you, we've got some really helpful people in here that are more than happy to try to help you um, with any questions you might have. All right, Water Bottle. Hit it. And see, I just totally rebuilt the command. Now, I will show you something, so check this out. Let's look at this real quick. So the way this works, for anyone who knows anything about Mix It Up, I don't know what bot, what bot do you use? Um, what do you use, Dragon? Do you use Mix It Up or do you use Firebot? What do you use, Firebot? <clears throat> okay, how does Sparks work? So Sparks are essentially, you earn Sparks while viewing streams, right? And then those Sparks are used to use stickers and stuff in the chat. So you can basically interact with chat. Um, so basically, if you hit the little skills button down in the right hand corner, you hit the skills button, those little items in there cause sparks and cost embers. And so basically, they allow you to post stickers in chat, right? Um, so the way sparks work is that for someone who is like a, for someone who's like, yeah, dragging could probably answer it better than me. I'm just over here mumbling. <laughs> Essentially, that. Right. And my mix play board is broken, and it has been broken for quite a while. Um, I need to freaking, I need to sit down and redo it. All right, so check this out, guys. So my streaming software says default setting. You see this? Streaming software, default setting. Source visibility, water bottle. All right, now, let's go here. There it is. So if we go in here, what is this? I thought no. Okay, so if we go in here to services and we go OBS Studio, it's enabled, so it's right there. Must be installed. It is installed. It's working. And if we go to here, we go to general. You're gonna see right here default streaming software is OBS Studio. So my default software is OBS Studio. So theoretically, it should be working. But when you use a sticker by Sparks, it counts as a dono, right? 
Okay, so it, the way that works, right? Yeah, Dragon. He, they're they're changing it. They could probably answer that better than I could, to be honest. Yeah, I'm gonna close the bot real quick. Water bottle. Give me a second. I'm gonna reopen, mix it up. Right. It is, it is kind of complicated. And you know what's funny about that is I've been getting people coming in and asking. And it's sort of hard to explain it. Because we're also in the process of it changing right now. You know what I mean? So it's sort of like everybody's asking, like, what the heck is it? How does it work? And I get it. It can be a little confusing. All right. Let's try this again. Sparks aren't changing. Spark patrons. Right. And see, I've always, I've always told people, like, people, people get this idea that, like, oh, you're not a partner, I shouldn't use Sparks, and I never really agreed with that. It was like, the way I look at it is, you, the way I look at it is, if you want to use Sparks in somebody's channel, have fun, because it's a way to interact with chat and everyone in chat, right? Right. So, I mean, you, you know, and I know everybody has a different idea on that, but it's the way I've always looked at it. All right, so I'm going to set this as... So look at that water bottle. When I run that command, when I run that command myself, it doesn't it doesn't run. But let's try setting it to OBS Studio from default setting. We'll go OBS Studio water bottle, and we'll set it to OBS Studio water bottle. Save. It doesn't trigger at all. And see, that makes no sense because I know it did under Streamlabs. So there's got to be something in Mix It Up Bot. I'm going to have to look at that further. I just don't know what. Sold the idea of Sparks incorrectly because that is how it was sold to them. Right. Yeah. And I think that was part of the problem, Dragon, is that a lot of people are like, oh, look at this, we're going to make all this money off Sparks. And <clears throat> so people were just sort of like, you know what I mean? And, and yeah, right. But just like that right there, Aladdin, it allows you to sort of interact with chat, right? And, and to get, you know, involved in chat. All right, guys, we're looking at this bot real quick. Bear with me. Hey, very cool. Well, thank you for spending it on me. I do appreciate that. Okay, so it's playing the audio, but it is not playing. Okay, so neither one of those are working. So how do we fix this then? Does anyone know? OBS Studio. That's true, Dragon. Yeah, that's true. That is really frustrating. I hate it when, you know, when things don't work right. That's, to me, is always the most frustrating thing. Because, I mean, you know, you want things to go off without a hitch. Yeah, it's like, it, it just, it's aggravating. Because, I mean, you know, you work so hard on making your stream run efficiently. And when things don't work, it's just like. Hmm. I'm going to have to, I don't know. I apologize on that, guys. That really stinks. I'm going to have to sink some time into that. I don't, I don't know where the disconnect is on that water bottle. Because it's weird. I know it was working. With Streamlabs OBS, so there has it has to be something about the way 
something about the way Mix It Up is interfacing with OBS as opposed to Streamlabs OBS, because all of it was working. Per yeah. Hi, water bottle. Yep. Yep. And that's the thing. That's what's weird, Dragon. It's almost like, it's almost like the way that Mix It Up is interfacing. Right. It's like the thing. It's like it's like. Oh, Mix It Up isn't talking to OBS properly. Because, like, right here, I'll show you. I'll give you a good example. Preach you guys helping me. Absolutely, Aladdin. Thank you for the stickers. Have a good one. Take care. And welcome to Mixer. So, right here is the command, right? It looks just like this, Dragon. So, basically, it says streaming software, OBS Studio, action to perform, source visibility, water bottle visible, right? And then it waits eight seconds, and then it goes OBS Studio, source visibility, water bottle unvisible. And even if I set this to default, instead of saying OBS Studio, it still doesn't trigger. So if we save this, so it to me, it seems like if I hit that right there, it should run the command and it doesn't. So it's like whatever's happening, mix it up isn't talking to OBS properly. That That's really the issue. Got to be. Now, where that disconnect is, I don't friggin' know. <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll mess with it a little later. There's probably something I have to change or update and mix it up since I was using OBS. Or, uh, Streamlabs OBS. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna finish this little robot, dude. I think we're good on him for a while. So we're going to save this as... <laughs> Thanks, Bo. Save as... We're going to call this a little... Robot Dude. I like that. Robot Dude. Now, now you see what I just named that, right? Robot Dude? And then we wonder why I can't find files when I need to. Because I probably shouldn't name things Robot Dude. <laughs> I mean, that's... Probably not the best for uh, the best for overall. That's funny. All right, let's save this. Oh, here I'll open this up. So let's look at something real quick here. Mixer Elixir. So I'm looking at creating some things for Mixer Elixir, like some emotes. And so, how to burn through Sparks fast for little effect. Yeah, so um, they increased the price of the GIF mode because so many people were using it. Um, it used to be, don't quote me, but I want to say it was 5,000 Sparks and they increased it to 20. Yeah. Uh, which sad because that was like my favorite one to use. I love like spamming little GIFs and chat and stuff. But um. I think they saw the potential around that, so they increased the price of that one. Um, people still use it, though. I mean, people still farm the heck out of Sparks, and or, no, I shouldn't say farm, but people are still gathering Sparks to use. I mean, because there's the thing, it's like Dragon was saying earlier, right? Like, Sparks still have a use, and they're, they're, they're still viable, right? It's just one of those things. It's just not in the way that it was a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. So we're going to name all this. Let's name this Space Cat. What should we have Space Cat do for this emote? We need to make an animated emote and then get it in there. Yeah, you, I'm glad I'm glad to see that dragon. Because I'm going to be honest with you. Like, I'm not a partner, right? The amount of quality content I saw go downhill was massive. Like, the Spark Farms and everything was just... There needed to be a cleaning of the house because things were just getting, it was like, it was funny how many of those spark farms dried up real quick. All right, we got to cut this off. Cause I mean, that, that's the thing that's always sort of gotten me, right? Is like, if you're going to stream content, it should be quality content. The way I look at it is like this. And again, I'm not a partner, so I can say it. If you're a partner and you're streaming content, it should be quality content. And if it's not quality content, then I think someone should be saying, 
what are we doing with partners? You know what I mean? Because like, if you're a partner, you, you, you should be representing a platform. You shouldn't be having a 24 hour spark farm. I mean, we're just running music. I just don't agree with that. Like, it should mean something. You, yeah, you should be doing something. You know, and, and I saw that and I was just like, that just doesn't make sense. <laughs> okay, I gotcha. No, 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 Dragon. I think you're 100% right. I mean, you were, the thing is, you were speaking the truth, right? Like, you were the one that was trying to say those things, but other people just didn't want to hear it because they were milking it, right? And I can say it from an outside in perspective because I'm not a partner. I'm not a partner, you know, and it's it's one of those things, like, right. Are you? Well, see, I'm not in the, I'm not in the partner. I don't, I don't, you know. No, I think, I think you're the type of person, what I get from you, what I get from you, Dragon, you're the type of person that you want, you want to make sure to be represented in a way that is appealing to people, right? You want Mixer to have that image, you know, that people, they work hard to get partner, they work hard to maintain partner, and that when they're a partnered streamer, they're representing the brand. You know what I mean? Because they're creating content that is worth watching. And that is the key. And, you know, the minute that people start taking their partner for advantage, or they, they, they don't really respect it and they don't make high quality content, it's a minute that the platform should kind of be going, hey, you know, what are we doing here? Because, you know, your partner should be the reason that people want to come to your platform, honestly. Perpetual thing, yeah. I, you know, I hope to one day get to where I can be partner, but, you know, we'll see. I mean, you know, I don't even know if and when I get the right numbers, if, if, if the content I have would even be a viable thing for partner. It may not be, you know? Divide his age base. I could see it. I could see it. You're you're the old you're the old guy on the hill screaming at the kid jumping him down, right, Dragon? You're like F Dragon. Well, don't worry, Dragon. I'll be the old grumpy guy with you. We can we can be the old grumpy duet. My wife says I'm really good at old and grumpy, so I thought it work out well. The concept a partner should be something that is earned on a day to day basis. Yeah, and I mean that's the thing, and I think a lot of people they get partner and they sort of lose sight of that. You know? But, I will say this, Bo. There's some really good partners on this platform. Like, really, really good partners, so... What am I... What is this even? That's the glare. Okay, so we're gonna lock down the glare. What am I doing? We're gonna actually name this glare, because we're going to... Yeah. Well, that's the thing, is that a lot of people, I think, they they sort of treated it like, you know, the way it is. Right. Let me open this. I'm sure we're not getting any... Right. Or, yeah, or time to quit your job, right? Time to, time to quit and take it mainstream. You see, I, that's where I'm, I'm, I'm really in the outside looking in perspective wise, because like for me, I stream because I enjoy it. I don't stream because I have, you know, 
ten thousand people on my stream, and and you know, I know that I see. I'm also a realist. I know that there's faster ways to get partner. Like I'm not. Yeah, it's like, you know, if I wanted to, I could stream certain things that would enable me to get the growth that could potentially get me there much, much faster. But, like, that's not what I want to do as a streamer. Like, my goal of streaming is to grow into, you know, something that I'm proud of. Not something that I'm just like, look at me, you know? Like, that's, that's never been what it's about for me. It's always been about, let's have good content that I'm proud of, you know? And, you know, for me, my daughter, she goes back and she watches a lot of my VODs with me. You know, and I want my daughter to see me being respectful and responsible and being we a decent a human being. You know what I mean? That's, that's really what it's about. Hey, Eric, thank you. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate that support. Thank you, thank you. We back over 13 now? 1302. Yay! Okay. Let's check all this out. So we've got right leg, left leg, tail, collar, glare, left eyelid, right eyelid, eye group. Mm -hmm. Yep. So I have all of them in here. Obviously, I've got to redo some of the parts. What do you think we should do? Thank you, Eric. I appreciate that. Yeah, we're sort of messing around with some emotes right now. Um, we're not really doing like a like a piece or anything at this point, but you'll see the slideshow over here, Eric. It's a real good look at a lot of the stuff that I've done. Um, and if you have any questions for me, Eric, feel free to ask away. We have a very sort of open stream here. We welcome questions, and so if I can help you in any way, I'm glad to. <clears throat> That's what Patreon's for, right? Yep. Yep. A lot of people, though, I think, that's the thing I think a lot of people get jaded about, though, Dragon, is, you know, they think, like, oh, I'm going to get partnered, and I'm just going to be rich. And it's like, eh, you know, that's not exactly the truth of it. Like, there, there's more to it than that, you know? Floating up and blinking, and then have him sort of... We could just have him loop like that water bottle. We could have him loop and have him blink and stuff. Better return from Patreon. More control. Yeah. That's my goal, <clears throat> Dragon, is eventually I want to get to the point to where I build up my patronage. You know what I mean? And that's sort of where I've been thinking about, like, like a, like a monthly or weekly webcomic or something. Something that would give people a reason to want to... Be a patron for continual content or something. And that's sort of where I'm trying to... I'm really trying to brainstorm on, like, how I want it to work. Alright, let me double check all this. We're gonna group this. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm. I feel like I'm getting a cough out of nowhere. That's not good. I hope I'm not getting sick. Wouldn't surprise me, though. People have been sick all over the place here. All right, cool. So we're going to copy all this. We're going to ungroup it. Copy it. We're going to go file new from clipboard. Yeah. Oh, wait. We should probably do one thing. I'm trying to give some... I'm going to pay the phone. Oh, really? I've never, like... For me, it's always been easy, but maybe it's also based where I'm from. Okay, that's better, but that's still not quite where I want it. What's everybody up to tonight? Anybody playing games or anything? Or is everybody just kind of hanging out? That's better. I think we're going to go that right there. Okay, so this is... Okay, so we're going to export this as a PSD, and we are going to go to Graphics, Animation, Moho, and we're going to go with Mixer Elixir, and we're going to call this Space Cap. Now, we got to remember, this is 30 by 30 pixels. This is tiny. I mean, this is 
tiny in the grand scheme of things. Uh, let's go Moho. We'll call this Space Cat. Hey, Chris. How's it going, buddy? How are you? We'll go to Project Settings. 3 by 30. Fantastic. Fascination. I don't think I've heard of that one. Want to make some motion graphics? Yeah, motion graphics are one of those things. It's definitely a... Um, Definitely a thing. Definitely a thing, Chris. Um, it depends on how you want to get to it, but you can certainly learn it. Monetization. Yeah, we were talking about that, Chuxy. Uh, how are you doing, by the way? We were talking about that earlier, you know, about, like, monetization and just the different forms of, um, like, the difference between Twitch affiliate, Mixer partnership, things like that. You know, just kind of voicing everybody's difference of opinions and things like that, you know, just kind of talking about it. And I'm, I, and I'm very curious what the monetization is going to be, Chuxy, because... I I don't know anything on it yet, and they haven't really released yet. And I'm sure when they do, we'll see how it all goes. Right. Yep, exactly. Dot com. Hmm, I haven't been there, Chris. Right. I'm curious. All right, so let's import this. So we're going to do a general import, and we're going to import Space Cat individually. So now, when we look at this... Now, it looks blurred, but it's not. Well, it shouldn't be. Let's render this out real quick. I'm assuming because of the size, that's why it's doing this. Heck, I don't know. Let's move it up. Let's render it out to a GIF file real fast. So we'll go like this. We'll grab the GIF colors. You can make free animated videos there. Oh, okay. And we'll go here, transparent, 56, and we'll go to the desktop. <clears throat> yeah, I, I've been trying to figure out. That is tiny, but it's gonna be a 30 by 30 pixel. We gotta figure out what the heck do we want this to do. No, but we'll start with embers and later down the road subs. subs yeah, hmm, it'll be fascinating. I think I'm curious to see how it all goes. You know, open. Let's import. I'm worried with this being so small, what this is going to look like. What do we want to have this do, water bottle? It'll render better than look, I promise. Right now, it's very pixelated because of the, the side, but it will render in high quality. Maybe just the face? That's what I'm thinking. Let's go back in here. I mean, if they want to be competitive with Twitch. At some point, it will help because there's a lot of people who are going to be looking for monetization. Like, they will be looking for that as a streamer. Um, and that's something that... A lot of people are already sort of asking for and looking for so yes I do think it will help I just I'm curious how it's all gonna work and what it's gonna look like you know what I mean if I think a lot of people that is their how do I monetize what do I do how do I make something back from the streaming and it's it's certainly for a lot of people that are on different platforms that is definitely what they're looking at without question
Now, with embers, embers are basically Mixer's answer to bits, right? Essentially. Because I'm pretty sure with, 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 embers work like bits in the sense that bits are guaranteed money, right? Like, they can't, it's kind of like that's what embers are supposed to be, sort of that protection from getting charged back, kind of, right. So bits are the same way. Like, if somebody donate bit to you, they can't be like, hey, I want my bits back. You know, it's just kind of what it is. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. The only interactive element to bits is when they when they drop in the cup, they sort of have that little bit of a trickle effect. That's really it. Yeah. I'm curious to see what it's all about, Chuck. See, I am. Like, I, you know, I don't know what it's going to mean for me. Like, my size channel and, and where I'm at and everything. No idea. Um, as far as Embers, I was in the Embers program, but I, I think I ended up with, like, 30. But to be fair, I didn't push it. I didn't really, I didn't really go after it. I, I not kind of, I'm not that type of like, I, I don't really do that. Like, I don't really, you know, like, oh, let's get the, not me. But, you know, if they release embers, you know, it may, if it, and it's for everyone, then people may sort of have the understanding that, hey, everybody can get embers, you know what I mean? Or at least the people that are in whatever platform. So, we'll see. I'm trying to maximize this, the space here. So give me a second. <clears throat> There's a difference between can get right. With their PO and just servers makes play. Right. It's funny. We were talking about that earlier, Chucky. Um about how how much easier it is on you know to start that monetization on twitch um yeah yeah i mean i st i still have my affiliate on twitch i just don't stream there often once in a while i do twitch in two years i just need to turn my stream on yeah so the thing is, is I wish I had never signed the affiliate contract, to be honest with you, because if I hadn't, then I may throw it into the restream with the other stuff, right? But with the affiliate status on there, I can't restream. I just can't do it. So I tried to turn affiliate off. And I, can you? Because when I tried like a year ago, I couldn't do it. Unless they've added that as an option. Because back when I tried to cancel it, I had to email them. See, I emailed him and I never heard back. I emailed him over a year ago and never heard a word. Not a peep. Harass him. Because I would certainly throw it into the restream queue if I wasn't an affiliate. But see, I'm the type of person, I know I'm not supposed to stream there if I'm an affiliate, right? I'm not supposed to restream. So I'm not going to do it. Because I don't want any crap. Like, I'm just, I don't want to deal with it. So, you know what I mean? Yeah, could do that. Because see, for me, for me, it's it's about art, right? Like I'm not, I'm not a, a Fortnite streamer or anything like that. That's not what I do. So for me, it's about art. And so for me, for what I do, I want it to reach a wide audience because I enjoy what I do. I enjoy sharing it with people. I enjoy that aspect of it. So for me, it's more about being having exposure in different places as as opposed to you know just that one spot where I have ten thousand viewers or whatever. All right, I'm brainstorming on what I want to do with this little guy because 30 by 30 pixels, we really got to make this count. I, we might have to get rid of his helmet water bottle because I don't even know if you're going to see it at 30 by 30 pixels or what we're going to have to do. Let's go into the helmet. Let's go. We're going to go a lot brighter. We're going to go here. We'll go there with it. That's going to be more of a fair assessment. And then we'll go here. go there so we can see it a little better and then for this I 
good. We'll go there with it. So how do I want to get rid of you? Delete. Save. Come back here. And let's grab it. So we've got everything the way we want it. We're going to keep it just this way. What are you still doing up, child? It's midnight. I thought Mama put you to bed. What are you? Why are you awake? That makes me a horrible parent. I'm gonna make a. Well, if you're ready to go to bed, go to bed. You wanna say bye to everybody? Lean in and say good night. Good night. All right. Have a good night, baby. We'll see you in the morning. Oh. Why do you want me to hit the be right back button? You gotta talk to me. Hold on one second, folks. So she didn't want you guys to hear her tell me that I needed to tuck her in. I guess she's too big girl for that. So. She is tucked in. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, sorry baby, it's okay if they know that. Hey Snow Girl, how you doing? Yeah, that's my kid. That's my little pumpkin butt. Seven, I can. Would you like to be tucked in, Seven? Don't get mad, Seven. Your command's broke. How you doing, Mr. Seven? But I can still hit it. I don't know why the commands are busted, dude. I'm gonna have to look at him. Is that the first time you've seen Darcy say that? How you doing, Mr. Seven? <laughs> How you doing, Mr. Seven? But guys, yeah, if you guys aren't following Dragon Flare and you're not following 7 of 7, please do. Fantastic content creators here. Well worth your follow. Good, good people. Um, I'd recommend it. One out of two. Don't be mean. This is going to be messy because it's so small. I might have to do this with a different program. Do you, Chris? Well, that's good. How have you been, Chris? What do you want, Odin? What do you want, buddy? You come to say hi to? Is it your bedtime yet? Do I need to tuck you in, too? I can't tuck everybody in. No. Hey there, kid. How you doing? Good to see you. I might have to do this in a different manner. So for anyone that's wondering what we're doing, sorry, I'm just kind of getting back. I tucked up my daughter, and I want to show you guys a couple cool things real quick. We're working on the animation sort of similar to this, in case anyone's curious. Um, so I do like... Um, 
I do like uh, this is basically two D art in a three D sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. Some acquisition tank. Um, funny, you're the first person to ever come in and said anything about that. So, good one, Greg. Most people, I don't think a lot of people know who they are. I'm, I'm assuming we got some D and D fans around, but we'll see. Yeah. Well, thank you for coming in. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Open this up. Why is this freaking? Oh, I love Acquisition Zing. They help me get through work sometimes, Dragon. Yeah, wife's good, Water Bottle. So, for those that don't know, real quick, uh, my wife, she got in a car wreck tonight, which was fun. But the good thing is, is um, it was just a fender bender. And um, she, um, it, well, it kind of sucked because the guy that hit her just ran. Like, hit and run. Like, but what's cool is she managed to get a picture of his license plate. So, little does he know, he didn't quite get away. Um, thank goodness for cell phones. So, she was able to get a, a picture of the license plate. So, it's already been reported and everything. And they already have done what they need to do. So, you know, the guy turned what could have just been a small wreck into a, a hit and run. Which, I don't know why you would do that. But, hey, you know what? People do weird things. So, whatever. That's on him. Yep, yeah, she's good, Water Bottle. She's good. She was tired. She had a long day. <clears throat> of course. Any day you have a wreck isn't going to exactly be a fun day, right? You're probably right, Seven. You're probably right, yep. But you know what's crazy about that is it's like, like the cop said. Like the cop said. He was standing there and he was like, you know what's crazy? It's such a small wreck. They probably would have been willing to not worry about other stuff. It would have probably just been one of those exchange information and have a nice day. It wasn't even really a reportable wreck because he basically just scratched the side of her Jeep is what he did. And he, he got a small bend in one of the panels. I mean, it wasn't like he told the car or anything. But the guy was like, I can't really imagine, even without insurance and stuff, it just doesn't make sense. Like, you're just, you're creating such huge problems for yourself. But, because, I mean, now you got a hit and run charge, which is, is crazy. It probably, yeah. But, I mean, now he's in serious trouble, because now he's got a warrant out for the rest. So, that's a thing, you know what I mean? <laughs> it is, it's like... I I don't understand what goes through people's brains. I don't get it. <laughs> no, I'm just I was just picking with her. I was just picking with her. I'm gonna have to do this in a different program. This isn't gonna work. Custom avatar giveaway. So what I'm going to do, Chris, is we're going to do an avatar giveaway every 250 followers, I think. Because we were doing giveaways original, for anyone that remembers, way back when. For it was like every 100 followers or whatever. So the way I'm going to do it is at 1,500, we'll do a custom avatar. So what that means is uh, you look at my style, you figure out what you want your avatar to look like, you give me a picture of you, and I'll make an avatar for you. Um, and I'll make it large enough and high enough quality that you can use it you know, you can use it for social media, whatever you want. Um, whatever, it's yours. I'll send you the copy. And then we're going to do it again at 1750 and of course 2000. And we'll probably just continue to do that every 500 so followers or whatever. Um, and I think what's cool about it is it'll be something fun for you guys that support me to get potentially win something, you know, that my style. And again, you can look at anything I've done and we can sort of go from there. I want to try something. Let me let me try something here real quick. Can I scale this in a way? Can I scale it from here? You can render at half dimension. What would that look like if I rendered this at half dimensions in a GIF file? Let's try it. Actually, no. We gotta we gotta grab the colors first. Let's sample the colors. Only 132 frames. So let's go here. We will go render half dimensions. GIF. Transparent. Uh, we won't do transparent because we'll do 256 and we'll do it to the desktop. Let's see what this does. Yeah, right. All right, let's see what this looks like at half dimensions. Because I'm wondering if that's going to be a way to do this. Okay, so it's a GIF. You can tell it's a GIF, but it's definitely 540. It's not 1080, 1080. But it's cool. It works. 
but we can always um all right so for this and what we'll do is we'll make it if I do a new file and I set the project settings at uh, let's say 6060 what would this look like what did import individually it's probably still gonna look just as bad right but I know that's not the way it's gonna look when it renders yeah see when it renders out it'll be fine Mm, I just got to figure out what I want to do with it, which I don't know how I want to handle that yet. So, yeah. Let's check something here. So, seven. Check this out. Here's your little, uh... Here's your little Lego. This is what the animation looked like in practice. See that? That's what it looks like pre-render. So you can see the frame here, right? The way this frame looks. Anything off the frame, you can you can stage things like this. So when we hit this, How you doing, Mr. basically that's what it's doing. And then of course you can see the way I rigged the bones for the eyes and everything, and for the turning of the head and the body. Worked out really good. It actually, it actually has a really good look, like the way the body twist and everything. That's a good, good look to it. Oh, and then look, we did this for Metro, but we haven't, um, haven't done a noise or anything with it yet. Uh, basically, I took that little character I did for his little uh, part anniversary video, and he flies through the scene. But the problem with that is, is I haven't done anything yet for that like audio or anything but we're gonna do something with that here soon and then i'm working on a little dragon that i think we're gonna use for a certain somebody not naming any name but i'm working on animating a little dragon that we're probably gonna have do something similar and then we'll kind of go from there all right so let me get back in here this out of here <clears throat> that rhymes with dragon glare um potentially So I'm working on making a comic, guys. How much was this program? This program is, you can get the debut version uh, for $50, I want to say, Chris. Um, there are some functionalities that don't exist between the debut and the pro version, however. So if, you, if you're looking for the features that are in the pro version, what I would do is if you go to the Moho website, it'll break down between debut and pro. And what you need to do is look at what Pro offers and what Debut offers and decide where it works for you. There's a huge price difference between Debut and Pro. Debu Debut, I think it's 50 and Pro is like 350 or 400. It's pretty expensive. Um, but what's really cool about this software is, what's really nice is, I was showing this earlier, is you can actually create your vector art right in this program, right? So it's like Affinity in the sense that it creates vector art. And of course, you can modify the points and things like that. And you can move things around and... You know, you can animate, you can do curve points and stuff like this. So it is essentially a vector art program <clears throat> that you can create the vector art in, which is unique because it's an animation software that allows you to draw in the same software, which is cool. Um, you don't have to do that. The other way you can do it, like, I'll give you an example. Let's say we make a, a new file. You can, you can basically you can import any PSD file you want. So like, let's, if we go to 7 to 7 Lego, right? And we, we import that PSD file, you're gonna see how it imports everything into a layer over here. So then what you can do is you can import the art and then you can resize it. You can of course rotate it, you can scale it, you can do all those different things. So you don't have to create the vector art in the software, you can, make the art in the software and then animate it that way if you choose to um but then of course there's a whole component to rigging that has to be done so um if you go with like uh I'll give you an example like if we look at water bottles that we did an actual bone rig so that is gonna be or here you go your octopus would be a better example of that <clears throat> if we open that
I've heard since I had the best experience with Smooth Micro. So most people swear up and down by um, Clip Studio. I own Clip Studio. I don't really use it. Um, I prefer to use Vector. But what's cool is, hang on. Could I make Carrington? We could make anybody into a Lego um, if we really wanted to. So if we look at this seven, you're gonna see the difference here where this is all bone rigged, right? So if we, I don't know if you were here that night we were animating it, but yours is on a bone rig. So all of your components are actually rigged up into bone format, right? And then each leg is on its own bone format as well. So if we go to like each tentacle, it has its own bone layout as well. So you can see how these tentacles, they almost look organic in a sense, in the way that we can manipulate them. So if you see this, like you can, you know, the way these are rigged, they essentially look real. Um, you don't have to rig them this way. This is just the way that I did it, you know? There, there's multiple ways to do your animation in the software. You can do straight up, or you can do bone rig, you can do, you know, whatever you want to do. Um, and then, like, if we take this guy here, this is, this is a really good example right here. You see these bones here? So, I'll, I'll have you understand something. That character you see right there is a flat vector character. I didn't draw different versions of that, right? What I did was I animated him to squash, stretch, and to move. So even though he looks like I've drawn different parts of him, I haven't. Essentially, he's animated in that way. That's actually one still image. Something, something, Cal. I'll show you here real quick, Bo. We'll open it up real quick. So we do uh, Lego characters on here as well. Um, so if we go in here... Hey, thanks for the follow. I appreciate that drawing guy. How are you? Don't know why the uh, alert didn't go off. Is that your new name? Oh, hi. So check this out. We do little Lego characters here as well. And these are Vector. So you might recognize this little guy here. Um, he's wearing a really nice shirt. I'm not really sure who the guy is, but the shirt's fantastic. Um... But we've done this one, and so if we look around here, you're going to see, like, I did Kratos as a Lego character. We did Master Chief as a Lego character. And we do all different kinds of characters here. Like, we've done some um, Star Trek characters. So you can see we did, like, Worf and Spock and stuff like that. Uh, same as, you know, different characters. Doc and Marty. We did Mario Brothers. And so every once in a while, we'll kind of bust out and do some of these. We did, like, Princess Peach and... Lara Croft and different things like this and we started doing all the Overwatch characters like when they announced that they were going to turn them into Lego characters we kind of did our own versions of them um this one was my favorite Junkrat turned out really cool I thought I would have loved to see a Lego look like this but um you know this was our own kind of take on what we thought some of these characters might look like like Moira and you know Lucio and Tracer and stuff like that these are good fun and then we did Metro Metro Birdman he's another partner here on the platform stupid drawing guy yeah there's Chris. Look who this is. You recognize that one, don't you, Chris? <laughs> yeah, but I mean, we do this every now and then. Sometimes we do it, you know. But, yeah. Anyways. Let me check something here. I think I'm going to need to get going because I am going to have to get up in the morning. We are going on a family trip tomorrow, so I will not be around, and I need to get some sleep. But let me see who's on that we can drop a stream on. Rhino's on. I think we'll go drop it on Rhino. Um, because he's up doing some pottery, and it's been a while since I've seen Rhino. Why don't we do that? But we'll drop it on Rhino, and we'll go from there. So, folks, um... Thank you for being here tonight. Thanks for the support. Thanks for all the new followers. Thanks for all the new faces. I appreciate you guys. Um, for raids and raid messages, they are. I don't normally raid, though, Bo. Um, I usually just toast and say hi and sort of go from there. You can raid, though. People do it. Um, I'm just the type... We keep it sort of low-key, so I don't really raid that much. <laughs> it probably should, but it's kind of the way it is. 
But anyway, thank you guys for being here. Thanks for all the followers, all the support. I really do appreciate each and every one of you. Um, and I will see you guys. Let's see. Today's Friday. So I will stream again Sunday. So if I see you guys uh, then, thank you. If not, then I'll see you next time I see you. Um, have a great night. Bye.